A Victoria woman is getting ready for a long overdue bike trip to help conquer cancer. Two years ago, she was training to cycle from Vancouver to Seattle when she was stopped in her tracks. As CTV's Stephen Andrews shows us, a journey to conquer cancer has become more personal than the cyclist could ever imagine. It's a grueling, almost daily routine. A trek through Victoria's streets to prepare for this. Ready, set, ride! A two-day bike journey from Vancouver to Seattle. An annual fundraising benefit for the BC Cancer Agency, where thousands ride to conquer cancer. It's something Stacy Olenek knows all too well. She was registered to participate in the ride two years ago, but was forced to pull out when her father died suddenly. Just days later, still mourning his death, she began to feel very ill. Not a very common symptom to have, but I just had an incredible itch that just was all over my body from head to toe, and I was so itchy. And um, I was experiencing it weeks before uh, we came home and uh, I just brushed it off. Her twin sister convinced her to go to the doctor. After a battery of tests, she learned the itch was something far more sinister. And the result was Hodgkin lymphoma. And, uh, no, I couldn't believe it. That <laughs> I still sometimes look back and I still can't believe it. You know, that, that, that uh, that changed my life even more. I, you know, started uh, treatments really quick. They got me going really fast. Everything was just moving along so quickly. I was still grieving for my father. I didn't even have time to really register that I had cancer. Stacy underwent aggressive chemotherapy. The prognosis was good. Six months later, doctors told her she was cancer-free. I was invincible. <laughs> Just felt like I could get through that. I can do anything. Until her illness, Stacy bartended at the old spaghetti factory. Her determination inspires her former employer and co-workers. They are now joining her on her ride to conquer cancer. We promised her that one day when she was healthy, uh, when she was ready and uh, when she wanted to do it, uh, I would ride with her, we would ride with her. Stacy says the support gives her strength. And although her battle with cancer is over, she now needs that strength for someone else. We'd done everything together. The one thing that we hadn't shared was Stacy had been through cancer and I haven't. Her twin sister Karen, the person who forced Stacy to go to the doctor when she was ill, is now fighting for her own life. So now, reverse roles and I'm the patient and she's the support person. So, I don't think any two, pe two human beings are more closer than to the two of us. Tomorrow on CTV News, we'll bring you more of the story of the Olenek twins and the reason the two women have chosen to go public with their battle with cancer.